Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So Vibes Cartel is a free man. The dance hall star spent a decade in prison after he was found guilty in 2014 of K mm -mm -mm, Clive Lizard Williams, a verdict that was overturned earlier this year. So a Jamaican court of appeals declined Wednesday to retry Vibes Cartel after the dance hall star's 2014 M-word conviction was overturned earlier this year, making Vibes Cartel a free man after a decade in prison. In a unanimous decision Wednesday, the court decided against a retrial and the M-word of Clive Lizard Williams, whose body was never found. The stunning decision means that Vibes Cartel, Sean Campbell, and Kahira Jones, and Andre St. John will be released after years behind bars. We conclude that the interest of justice does not require a new trial to be ordered, the court read. The court said Wednesday that there was sufficient evidence to suggest that Cartel would not be able to complete a potentially longer sentence if there were to be a retrial. The court cited the psychological and financial effects that it would have on the appellants referring to Cartel's health. His defense has cited the severe lockdown conditions he's been in since 2011. They have described his holding as a brick cell with no air circulation, no water, and a bucket for a toilet. His neck was swollen. If you think of a shirt that is about 18.5 inches in the neck area, you shouldn't close the collar on his neck, and that's how bad it is in this moment. His defense described. His face is actually swollen, and one on, and one other thing, he always wears glasses. And this condition, that causes his eyes to protrude. In 2023, a sworn medical affidavit from Cartel's private doctor notified authorities that his Graves disease and heart condition were getting worse, and that if he did not get surgery soon, it could be fatal. The report obtained exclusively by Fox 5 New York detailed his battle with thyroid disease. Vibes Cartel, formerly known as Adija Palmer, and his three co-defendants have been behind bars in a Jamaican prison since their arrest in 2011. The conviction came from a mostly circumstantial case based on video and phone records from his BlackBerry torch in a discredited witness. Throughout the years, he's proclaimed his innocence and fought to have the conviction thrown out. Cartel's conviction was squashed this spring, and the British Privy Council gave the Jamaican court the chance to decide on a retrial or outright acquittal, meaning there would be no further prosecution. For most of his time in prison, Cartel had reportedly been battling grave disease under conditions his attorney says are inhumane. Wow. Lawyers representing the defendants made an appeal back in 2020, but the convictions were upheld. The appeal was then pushed to the United Kingdom-based Privy Council, Jamaica's final court of appeal in 2024, which overturned the convictions due to juror misconduct. Despite the big win, their fight for freedom has hung in the balance. The Privy Council, in effect, kicked the case back to Jamaican back to the Jamaican Court of Appeals to make the ultimate decision. Well, there you have it. Wait, so does that mean he was innocent? Because it says the body was never found. And the case was based on video and phone records from his BlackBerry torch and a discredited witness. So what did they find in the video? You know, oh, so, mm. I don't know. I don't know. But he's a free man, and I'm going to leave it at that. I don't really know about the, this guy. I just know when years ago, he went viral because he was bleaching his skin, and he looked that crazy. But he's a big deal in Jamaica, and um, I don't know much about his music. Oh, yeah, and I remember years ago, there was this crazy lady who wrote to him in prison. I remember reading this article. She wrote to him in prison and I guess wanted to be with him. And she's still there because if you look in the video yesterday, she was one of the people who were waiting for him outside. <laughs> 
I don't know, I find it crazy. Like, who writes someone in prison and want to be with them? And I don't know, it's just crazy. It's weird, it's strange. But um, if you guys know him, what do you think? What do you make of him being a free man? Do you think he was innocent? Do you think, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But leave your comments down below. And uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in. Please like, please subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.